Commentary. Today is Wednesday, May 29th. I'm Jenny Mosier, and this is episode 30 of our Junior Rebel Express show. Let's start today's video off with a PE video from Mr. Howe. Hey CRCS, today we're going to do an activity that is using a hockey stick and a tennis ball, or you can use a bat and a larger ball like the one I have right there, which is a foam ball. Now let me show you what I did. I just cut out a hockey sticks blade and attached it to a piece of wood and then I'm going to use a uh, tennis ball. I'm going to actually show you with the other one but you can do this. This is not easy to do so that's why we're going to use a bat and a larger ball. So all we're going to do is you can see that I have a five gallon bucket behind me. I'm going to start at the five gallon bucket. I'm going to go in and out of the water bottles around the last water bottle back through and then I've got to finish by putting the ball in the five gallon bucket. And this works on um, hand-eye coordination um, and it works on skills that you would use in hockey. So we're going to show you with a bat and a larger ball. Now when you hold on to this, you want to hold on to the end and then hold about halfway down. That's how you would hold on to a hockey stick. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. In and out. And you finish by putting it in the bucket. Now, if you have somebody that you can work with, you can set up two courses and then race them. If not, just you can keep track of how long it takes you to do that. And again, when you hold on to the bat or the hockey stick, you hold on towards the handle and then about halfway down to control back and forth, okay? And that's called stick handling. So that's a good thing that you can do to work on your hand-eye coordination and some hockey skills. Talk to you later, CRCS. Thank you, Mr. Howe. Okay, next I want to just pop up all the hotline, lunch information, and Wi-Fi information for you. I'm sure most of you know all this information already, but if there's anything you need to take down, you can pause the video and write down the information. Up next, we have a character announcement for you from one of our fifth graders, Miss Titus. The character trait for today is citizenship. Edmund Burke lived from 1729 to 1797. He was a British statesman and supporter of human rights. He brought attention to human rights issues through his many speeches. He said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. What can you do to stop what is wrong and stand up for what is right? If you see someone being bullied, you could stand back and do nothing, or you could step up and help put a stop to it. This is Sean Titus encouraging you to be a good citizen by standing up for others who are being treated unfairly. Have a great day. Up next, we have a message for our fifth graders from Miss Navel. Miss Navel wanted to remind you that she sent out an email to you regarding a book club she's doing earlier this week. It's just for fun to read and discuss a mystery book. She'll email you the story and when the Zoom meetings will be. So read the email sent back and get back to her by the end of the day today. She's excited to read and discuss the book with all fifth graders who are interested. And as you know, Wednesday was Be Awesome Day. I asked you on Wednesday's show to send me your pictures and videos, and here they are, all the pictures and videos of you all being awesome. Okay, next I want to talk about school supplies. So for the ninth year in a row, the Cuba First Baptist, First Baptist Church will be sponsoring a free school supply backpack giveaway for needy pre-K through fifth graders. This is scheduled for Saturday, August 15th. If this is something that you are interested in attending, please check it out. Earlier this week, Mr. Erickson sent a link on the PTO Facebook page about the after school survey for Advantage After School Program. Um, if you have time, please find this link on the PTO Facebook page and take the survey for them. 
Up next is our tweet of the week. Today's tweet comes from Mrs. Quatrone at CRCS underscore Mrs. Q. She posted this sweet video of her little guy skipping through the quarantine. How cute is that? Okay, up next is Miss Jabu's joke of the week. Why do bees have sticky hair? Well, because they use honeycombs. <laughs> Miss Jabu, I love these jokes of the week. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have news, contents, videos, or pictures for the show, please send them to me. Today's Friday. Our next video will be out on Monday. Enjoy the weekend.